You are tuned in to Kids in the Pit. Hey guys, it's Gabe from the Kids in the Pit podcast. Today I am joined by Stacy from the band Cat Skit Lottery and his son Oliver. So let's get into it. Okay, so first few questions are for Stacy. What do you do in the casket lottery? Uh, I play bass guitar. Nice. So do you play with a pick or do you finger pick? I play with a pick. Uh, I started out as a guitar player, so I just carried over from that. Cool. So what year did the casket lottery start? Um, We started in the winter of 97, and our first show was July 4th, 1998 in Lawrence, Kansas. Nice. How old were you? Uh, 21. Oh. So, uh, what song should not, someone not familiar with the Casket Lottery look up? Um, Midway from the first record we ever did. That seemed to be the, the more popular one and the first time we ever felt like we actually wrote a decent song. Oh, I'll check it out. Okay, so now for some questions for Oliver. How old are you? I'm nine. Oh, I'm ten, so... Um, what state do you live in? Kansas. Oh. Uh, so do you, do you like listening to your dad's band? Yep. Nice. So do you have a favorite band or artist? I do not have a favorite band or artist. You don't have a favorite uh, band or artist? Mm-mm. Okay. You will eventually, I bet. So... Would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? Um, one horse-sized duck. Oh. Okay, back to Stacy. What is your favorite place you've toured in? Um, California. West Coast has always been a favorite of mine. Cool. So uh, what was your first concert and how old were you? Um, I saw Pearl Jam in Lawrence, Kansas, and that was 92, and I was 17. Oh. Oliver, have you been to any concerts? Yep, a few. Oh. What was your uh, favorite? It, it, it's a recent one called Jimmy Eat World. Oh. So, uh, Stacy, what are a few yeah. of your major musical influences? Um, Jay Robbins from Jawbox. Oh. Um, Sting from The Police. Stuart Copeland from The Police. Oh. Uh, Dimebag Daryl from Pantera. Oh. Um, okay, so now are some non-music related questions you can both answer. What is your favorite food? Pizza. Pizza. Nice. What about you, Stacy? Uh, pizza. It's all the it's all the food groups oh. in one. It's, it's dairy and bread and meat and everything. So what it's my about- self-contained little meal. What are your favorite toppings? Ghost classics, pepperoni and sausage. Nice. Both of you or? It, no, I like just cheese. I don't like any toppings. Oh. Okay, so only at Domino's, I like green peppers and onions. But you may think I'm a sin- you may think I'm a sinner, but I'd like pineapple. Uh otherwise. No, you can do pineapple all you want. There's never been a thing of mine. Yeah. So, um, if you could live uh, one day as any animal, what would it be? Um, giraffe. For me, it would be a armadillo lizard. Hmm. Armadillo lizard. Nice. Wait, those things are lizards? Yes. Technically. Technically, yeah. Oh. I guess they, they got a hard shell. I don't know. What are they? Are they, are they mammals? No, I, I mean, like why, would, why would you pick an uh, armadillo? I just like them to cool. Uh, why would you pick a giraffe, Stacy? I'm very tall. Oh. <laughs> I like the view from up there. Nice. So if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Like? Telekinesis. Same. Which one? Do you want to do a flight or telekinesis? Telekinesis. Telekinesis, yes. I would understand. Because, well, with telekinesis, I'm pretty sure you, you can, like, tell. Yeah, you can move things with your mind. I see you have a cat behind you. What's its yeah. name? Yeah, that's Darwin. Darwin. 
Darwin? Nice. Yeah. So uh, where is your favorite place you visited together? Um, Omaha, Nebraska. There's this awesome pumpkin patch there called Vela's. And ah. it's basically a, a theme park that used to have like animated bands, like a, made of skeletons and stuff like that. It has multiple rides and it's, it's a lot of fun. Oh, um, I know a band from there. Uh, they're called Cursive. I saw mm -hmm. them recently at Furnace Fest. Yeah, they're, they're great. We, uh, we played several shows over the years with them. We played a bowling alley with Cursive and Small Brown Bike. We actually played the locker room of this bowling alley back in like 99, I think it was. The locker room? Uh, it was the locker room of a bowling alley. Like people were actually bowling in front of us in the locker rooms where people put their shoes and stuff. They set up and we were playing with Cursive and Small Brown Bike there. You're, you're, that, that's big enough for a venue? No. But they 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 say they tested their luck and they put a band in the middle of a locker room. So wow. it, it was pretty funny. It was it was one of the, the best shows we've ever done because everyone was so packed in there. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. Chris, it was great. Nice. I'm gonna see uh, Curse of in December. Yeah, they're, they're I awesome. Like, I think it's um wait it's somewhere in Pennsylvania. I think it's Harrisburg or something. Yeah, uh, Travis Dopp from Small Brown Bike and his, his little brother, they both direct videos for Cursive. Some, so some of the earlier uh, Cursive videos they directed. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also going to see uh, Cursive when I'm seeing them in December, uh, Thursday, I was going to be there. Are you going to see Cursive with Thursday? Yeah, they're playing. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Stacy, what is a piece of advice you would give to Oliver and I that you wish you had known when you were our age? Um, don't listen to what people say to you. I mean, unless it's good advice from your parents, obviously, but if it's people that are your age and they're putting you down or trying to destroy your personality, just don't listen to them because after school, it's all bets are off and you'll realize that uh, those people were just doing that because they were trying to impress somebody. But once they're out of school, it's a totally different world. Oh. Yeah, that's good advice. Um, Oliver, what video games are you into? Roblox, Minecraft, Outriders, um, Fortnite, semi Riders Republic. Oh. I've uh, heard of three three of those, like two of those. I like Roblox and Minecraft. I've heard of Roblox, Minecraft, and Fortnite. We should play together sometime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll have to swap gamer tags and stuff like that so you all can play yeah. together. So do either of you have anything else to add before we wrap it up? Um, no, I think I think that was really good. Okay. Oh, I, I have some questions. We'll go right oh. ahead. Okay. First. Okay. If you if you had to spin it one day in one room, if it could be from a medium perspective a bad perspective or a good perspective like that like if there's like five star food in there what what would you choose what, what do you mean like a good perspective has like good food and like like if if you had to live in a hotel like out of these three hotels which one would you live in so is good perspective like five star yeah good perspective obviously Obviously, the five star. Yeah. Um, that kind of was a question. <laughs> I've stayed in a lot of not five star hotels, so I know what a bad one's that, what bad one's like. Uh, yeah, I've never stayed in a five star hotel because, yeah, they're expensive. Anything else, Ben? Mm -mm. I think that's it. Uh, also, uh, Oliver, which one would you choose out of the good perspective, bad perspective, and uh, yeah, I would choose the I would choose the medium perspective because you know the five star perspective costs more money, and the medium pers perspective costs like it's in the middle of it. Oh yeah, I I thought you meant like it was paid for, but yeah, yeah. you have to pay for it. Well, depending on how much money you have. <laughs> yeah, I could choose the middle one, but like if I'm super low on money, I choose the lower one. Obviously. Yeah. So uh, thanks to Stacy and Oliver for joining me today. And thanks to all of you for watching or listening. 
please subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Spotify and other streaming platforms. Until next week, bye. Thanks, Gabe. Thanks.